What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about the off arm. So let's get right into it. So in my opinion the off arm is one of the most misunderstood parts of this golf form and because that makes it kind of more difficult to explain I decided to go with a little bit of a different video style today so it's gonna be more of like a question answer type thing. You'll see what I mean, but just so you know. Question number one, can the off arm help us with rotating? And the answer to that is clearly yes, it can. So what I do, for example, when it comes to this is during my reach back, my arm is probably somewhere around here. I'm not really sure, but somewhere in this area. And then I kind of bring my arm here close to the body and kind of help the rotation. Now, I don't do this actively at all. It's just something that I kind of got used to. I automatically learned it. I understand that this is not gonna be automatic for everybody though. I just wanted to tell you how I do it. But generally speaking, most far throwers use their off arm in some way to help rotate faster. So that's answer number one. On to question number two. And this is one I get all the time. Where exactly should our off arm be? So the answer to this question is basically impossible. And the reason for that is, when we look at the pros, for example, we see so many variations. We see stuff like this, where the off arm is flying around here somewhere. We see stuff like this, something in between. People are here. So there's no general rule for where the arm should be out here. And I'm gonna get to why exactly that is that way in a second. Now, with that being said, there is one rule that I think is true for everybody regarding the off arm. And that rule is, no matter where you are before you start rotating, once you start rotating, your arm has to be close to the body. And this is something that all of the pros do, no matter if they're here or here, or anywhere in between. They all bring their arm close to the body before they start rotating. And the reason for that is pretty simple, it's basic physics. Everything that is far away from our torso while we rotate makes us slow. So if our arm is doing this, we're gonna be slow. Whereas if my arm is out here and I bring it close and then I rotate, I'm gonna rotate faster. And this brings me right into a little drill or an exercise that I'm gonna show you. So this is a drill my dad has been telling me about for many years and I love this drill because it shows us two very important things about the off arm and about form. But I'm going to show it to you first and then I'm going to tell you why the drill is so great. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our left hand and put it into our pocket right here. And then with our hand in the pocket, we're just going to try to throw. So here's how that should look like. Now, again, there are two things that you're gonna notice when you do this drill. The number one thing you're gonna notice is how fast you can rotate when your arm is close to the body. And obviously by putting our hand in our pocket, we force the arm being close to the body. So if you feel like your arm is not getting close to the body before you start rotating and it's flying around here somewhere, this drill is gonna be great for you learning how it feels to have the arm close to the body. It's gonna help you teach that feeling. And the second thing that this drill shows us, and this is very important in my opinion, is a lot of you, or almost all of you, when you do this, you're gonna feel like it's unnatural, it's unbalanced. Most likely, the run-up is gonna be super hard. You might tip over into one side or another because you don't have balance. And that is exactly what I'm trying to show you with this drill. Because by eliminating the off arm out of the equation, by putting it in our pocket, Balance starts to get super tricky because we can't use our off arm for balance. And that already leads me to the next question. And that question is, what do we really need our off arm for? And this drill already provides you with the answer for this question. And that is, we need the off arm for balancing out our form, our movement. And since our off arm obviously has a weight and it has the ability to move, every disc golfer is going to use it for balance subconsciously you're just going to do it 
So I'll give you an example. People who tend to kind of go from the outside to their reach back oftentimes have to counteract that movement with their off arm. So a lot of people that kind of round into it have their off arm back here, obviously, because they have to counter the weight of their movement here. If they just went outside like this, they might fall forward. Whereas if they keep their off arm back, they're gonna stay in balance. So that's how those people, for example, just one example of thousands of examples, use their off arm for balance. Now, I already answered this question, but I really want you to get that into your head that the off arm does everything for a reason. Every movement happens for a reason during the run up. Now, of course, again, there is, at least to me, the rule that the off arm has to be close to the body before we start rotating, as I said before. But whatever happens before with the off arm is super personal because everybody has a different form and everybody has to balance out things differently. So for some people, in order to stay balanced, their off arm has to be out here. For some people, their off arm only needs to be here. But everybody has to balance out their form with their off arm. And that already brings me to the last question. So the last question is, should we try to fix our off arm? And in my opinion, the answer to that question is in 99% of the cases, no. And the reason for that is, again, the off arm does move for a reason. So again, the example of the guy dropping the shoulders, for example, if his shoulder is down here and we don't let him have his off arm here and we try to correct the off arm and get it closer, this mistake is going to get worse because he doesn't balance out and the shoulder drop is going to get worse. So if we correct the off arm in that case, we're not going to make anything better. The off arm might do something weird, but that doesn't mean that we have to fix it. Usually the exact opposite is the case. The off arm is very rarely the root of the problem. It's in most cases an indication of a problem happening somewhere else. So obviously this isn't going to be an ideal off arm movement, but still it happens for a reason. So instead of saying, oh no, we need to fix the off arm, what we should be thinking is, what is the form mistake that leads us into this off arm position, for example. Now this is obviously very extreme, but I'm just trying to make a point here. Now, what we can fix and what we can work on with the off arm is exactly what I already told you before, getting the arm close to the body before we start to rotate. So no matter where your off arm is, if you are kind of flying around your body with your left or with your off arm, that is something that we can fix. So uh, again, I already showed you the drill. Do that drill, get used to the feeling of your arm being close to the body and work on that. That is the only off arm thing that I personally ever correct when I'm doing a form review of somebody, for example. And this is exactly why, in my opinion, the off arm is so misunderstood. It's because people still think that they need to fix their off arm just because it's doing something weird. When, again, we shouldn't see the off arm as the problem, we should see it as the indicator for another problem somewhere in the form. Working on the off arm will, in most cases, make everything worse. We have to figure out the actual root of the problem, work from there, and the off arm, in most cases, is gonna fix itself. Because it mainly is here for balance, and if everything else is out of balance, and we take away the off arm, everything is gonna get worse. So here are the two main things I want you to take away from this video. Number one, the only real rule when it comes to the off arm is that it has to be close to the body before we start rotating. Otherwise, we are going to be slow. And the second thing I want you guys to take away from this video is that the off arm does stuff for a reason. It is always there to balance out another motion. And that is also why the off arm is a super individual thing that we can't just correct because everybody needs to do it differently. Now again, this doesn't mean that every sort of off arm position that we have here is good. It just means that every sort of off arm position has a reason. And if we want to fix that off arm position, we need to find the root of the problem, work on that, and the off arm is going to fix itself. Now, before I end this video, I have a quick announcement, and that is that I still have some spots for personal form reviews that I will be doing for all of December and maybe January. 
So if you're interested in that, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at leonsonleitner underscore DG. If you don't follow me there already, please feel free to do so. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I explained my thoughts in a clear way and I'm open for all sorts of feedback and questions. So please feel free to just write a comment if you have something to say or to ask. And as always, big thank you to discgolf4u.com, Austrian disc golf shop who makes these videos possible for you. Definitely check out the store. Also, big shout out to Latitude64 and Moby Disc Golfing for supporting me. Thanks to you guys for watching and see you next time.